Um, uh, thank you very much for showing up today. Uh, I know everyone's very busy with the holiday. Uh, so what we really want to do is introduce the series and talk a little bit about what we'll be doing uh, over the coming uh, weeks and months. Uh, we'll be doing uh, in the series. Uh, what we really want to do is really quick surgical strikes on things like optim optimization of your product pages, category pages, knowledge center, content analytics, and things like that. And um, uh, that's what we'll we'll be doing. So you'll get be you'll be getting further announcements about these uh, um, these uh, webinars. And we'd love your feedback on. Uh, how do you think we're doing here and any other ideas that you'd like us to uh, bring to the table. So um, today I am uh, going to be running this webinar. My um, name's Brad Curtis. I'm the Director of Global Sales and Strategic Accounts here at uh, Zidia. I'm here with uh, Alok Jane who is our CEO and uh, has managed major uh, uh, e-commerce initiatives in the uh, SEO and content space for companies like Walmart and eBay as well as uh, managing our uh, our, our slew of clients as well. Uh, and then Amanda Frazier is here as well and she is our uh, senior marketing manager, has handled uh, 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 digital marketing initiatives at places like Harry and David and, and, and uh, with our clients as well. So we're going to move forward from here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is kind of throw out a poll out to you folks. So we're going to uh, hand it over to Amanda and she'll put a poll up on the screen. And if we can get some feedback from you guys, that would be great. So we'll just give you a couple of seconds. And if you can just pick one of those and then um, submit it, that would be great. And then uh, Amanda will give us the results. And while you're doing that, uh, I'll just do some some uh, quick housekeeping things here, just to tell you a little bit about who we are. We are Azidia, and uh, we build content systems and services for the world's leading brands, agencies, and networks. We currently work with more than half of the internet retailer top 10. Uh, so we build very large scale content initiatives um, and work with uh, many mid-market companies as well. Uh, and I'm going to keep the salesy uh, pitch uh, to a minimum. So do we have our uh, poll results? So we're looking at resources don't have strategic expertise as being the number one result at 75%. Uh, I don't know if we're, uh, are we displaying those uh, results to the group? No. Okay. No, yes. You, oh, yeah, you are seeing. Okay, so in the scale and content uh, resources are, are uh, yeah, just in a second. So thank you for that information. So when we talk about content, we have we, we approach it from really two basic rules. There's content for the customer, and that's the first rule is everything you create and everything you should create should be for the customer. You want to uh, merchandise to those folks uh, in your brand voice and, and do all those good things uh, first. And then, of course, Google being second. So um, uh, we, as a, as a SEO focused, e-commerce focused content company. Of course, we're always aware of what Google is doing, and um, that's a, a very close second for us. Um, why we're here is basically a couple of things. 81% uh, of shopping starts at the search bar. This is according to GE Capital, and I've seen some other reports in the Forrester uh, and other reports uh, that show about 80 to 90% of all shopping is starting at the search bar. So that's it's pretty crucial to all of e-commerce. Uh, 40 to 60 percent of sales are driven by the top three organic results, and that is shown uh, uh, from HubSpot. And I have all the I have all the uh, links to these uh, reports that, at the end of the uh, uh, the document here that I can share with you folks. I um I saw a recent uh, a poll that came out through Net uh, Net Booster uh, that just came out December 3rd that showed some widening of 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 uh, these three organic results, top three results. So uh, that is actually good uh, for the, the rest of the marketplaces. It's not just the three behemoths that are going to win every time. We're actually seeing it widen out to the uh, results in the, in the five, six, and seven category are, 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 uh, are, are rising as well. So that's good. I encourage you all to look up that NetBooster uh, study. That's a, that's a good study. Uh, organic converts at two to five times the rate of PPC. 
So we, we see that across the board, and that's just um, uh, uh, that's categories uh, uh, that, that depends on the, uh, the specific categories that you're in. But it, we see that at, uh, it, it coming in about two to five percent the rate of PPC. <laughs> and then of course, uh, almost every marketing activity is based on content, and that um, report comes from me. Uh, so that's my little joke there, but it is true. Uh, uh, the product page. We're going to dive into the, the product pages a little bit. So what we look for when we're doing uh, work with our customers is, you know, what are you doing on the product page? Are you are you optimizing those keywords? Are you doing keyword research uh, and, and and adding that to the um, uh, the product page in, in things like the H1? Are you doing things like uh, main features and benefits, bullet points? Are you adding content to um, uh, a rich description? Are you uh, using the, the the branding that is available to you through 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 some of the uh, the bigger brands? One of the things I saw in the in some of these polls or the um, reports that I saw uh, was that that the big brands continue to to win at, at search and it's because of that brand value that they have. Um, so if you have that ability to use it with a Steve Mann product, you know, bring that into the, the product description. Also, um, adding rich descriptions, uh, human written rich descriptions to any kind of OEM content is something we, we, that's one of the first things we look at whenever we optimize a page. Uh, OEM data, um, uh, many times, many, many companies just like to represent OEM data that are, everyone else is using. As you know, with, um, uh, latest Google standards, that can be a problem. Uh, 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 you need to make, make your content unique, so you need to add that description. And then, of course, just adding that, that uh, uh, breadcrumb trail is, is great, and, uh, um, and then using multiple strategies is, is one of the things we look at uh, with many of our customers. So being able to create these expandable formats where the format is consistent, and the customer knows where to look for the content, um, and you've, you've basically trained them as they go through your site of where to find the data that, that they need to make that informed purchase decision. Um, obviously, uh, you have different budgets uh, in mind for some of these pages. Uh, you might have a new page over here on the left that may only get 100, 150 words of content. Uh, it hasn't proved its value yet. But then you have pages over here on the right that may you know, be bestsellers, and you want to be able to push uh, 400 words or, or more of content into those, those pages. You might add um, more uh, features to those pages. You might add uh, uh, reviews and um, uh, buyer's guides, links to buyer's guides, things like that. So uh, we've seen, seen budgeting uh, split in, in, in many groups as we tier products within these companies. Um, so their best sellers, they might take 20, 30% uh, 20, of their best selling products, of their products might be best sellers, and they w might optimize those a little bit differently. So um, also one of the things you want to do when you're optimizing your pages is logically organize the content. So once again, the customer knows exactly where to go to find those specs and the, that information that they need. Uh, we like to do things consistently and smartly. So uh, uh, not just the description, but the clear text URL is a big one. We're trying to get uh, most of our customers to move over to clear text URLs. Uh, the breadcrumb trail, repeating that stuff in the H1, meta description, be redundant. Redundant, redundant is, is effective. So um, here we see a product like uh, I previously mentioned in the previous page. This is a best-selling product, and it ranks you know, Verizon doing a good job, it's ranking number two next to the manufacturer of that product, Dr. Dre. So that's a good place to be. Um, once again, looking at that, that strategy of building out product descriptions for your best sellers, a lot of our customers are really looking into this right now. Here's a company called Flipkart, and they're adding, you know, they're looking at things like they're building guidelines and strategies around top brand categories, their best selling products, highest margin products is a big one. So if you're selling $3,000 TVs or big screen TVs or, or uh, some sort of high value, uh, high margin item, it's a good idea to add uh, rich product descriptions to those, those, those products. And that all can be below the fold. 
and uh, things you want to add and look at are you know videos, reviews, uh, any of that OEM data. Take that OEM data. You can add attributes to that OEM data and then enrich that. Uh, add all the keyword SEO juice you can. Links to the Knowledge Center, and we're going to have a whole session on the Knowledge Center because we really believe that that uh, buying guides, Knowledge Center, how-to documents, things like that are really the cornerstone of uh, of the content strategy. And so we'll go dive into that a little bit, especially for your you customers that have a lot of turnover with your product set, uh, like you apparel companies. Um, so anyway, uh, you in in this rich product description, you can add warranty information, upsells, cross sells, all that sort of stuff. Looking at some uh, uh, product pages, uh, the good and the bad, the ugly, as uh, as I, I like to call it. Uh, I'm not so thrilled with this page uh, from the Gap. Uh, there's no human product, uh, human written product description. So I'd highly recommend that that you you have all your products have at least 50, 100, 150 words of, uh, of descriptive content that's based on uh, 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 or, or has at least your key search terms uh, in, in that content. Um, they don't have a, a, a human readable URL, so we recommend that. Uh, but still they're doing a lot of things right. You know, the social share button's there. If you have an enthusiast community, like a, you're a pet store, or you're selling uh, cooking products, or you know any kind of enthusiast group, is a great uh, a great thing to have is that that um, uh, that social uh, uh, connection. So we recommend that. And then one of the biggest initiatives we've seen over the last year is tagging your images. There are many companies out there, many many companies with thousands and thousands of images that. That have that, that that are not tagged, and so we recommend you you do that, especially with Pinterest and Google image search. So you you definitely want to get in there and and, and tag those images. Uh, and then uh, of course you write those meta descriptions and get those 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 uh, in into the uh, mix as well. So just uh, in, in you'll see here the the results of the the searches for metallic print rib sweater. So even though it's it's not my favorite page and then they're missing a few things, they're obviously doing some things right. And of course the Gap brand helps quite a bit. Uh, so that's the product pages. So I'm going to go into the category pages and um, we'll talk uh, about a few here. Here's a one from a company called Acme Tools and what we see here is, um, and we recommend this for a lot of product pages, there's a lot of, or excuse me, category pages, there's a lot of category pages out there that Google crawls and tries to index but they're just uh, they're just uh, a listing of categories, but they don't say anything about that page. So what we try to do is encourage you to to add at least a little blurb on the top of the page. Um, uh, many of our customers are moving to uh, behind the more button. We can pull up uh, a good 200, 300 word piece of content, add the links uh, to that content, and that just adds deeper relevancy, deeper value, deeper brand authority. Uh, and it's good for your customers. So uh, once again, we're orienting really around what the customers want as well. And of course, this content will link to promotions, cross sells, um, other information that that customer wants to find on his way to path to purchase. So you have to be very cognizant about the path to purchase, how customers want to interact with your site, and then you know build that content. Of course, add all that SEO juice, bring in the the links to relevant categories, promos, sales. Uh, uh, Etc. Um, so we see uh, 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 many of these uh, guides actually are linking to a lot of these category pages as well. So uh, how-to guides on you know what to look for when I'm uh, looking to buy a drill. What kind of drills do I? Uh, uh, what kind of drills do I need to buy for X, Y, and Z? Uh, uh, power power information, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that that stuff that stuff helps the customer quite a bit. Um, looking at other kind of category pages, uh, uh, here's one from a company called Cooking.com, and uh, here's your normal category and uh, category structure. And I can kind of go down and do my shopping. But if I'm the customer once again, and I wanted, and I I need more information about about knives and what buy, what knife I need for what kind of activity, um, I can put that stuff behind the more button once again. And that deep rich content once again. Uh, adds relevancy with Google. Google loves to crawl the stuff 
and um, um, uh, index this, 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 this page. So c categories can also help you tell the story about your brand, entice your customer, send them right down the right path to purchase. So if I'm looking for a sushi knife, I know exactly um, uh, where to go from here to find that, uh, that product. Um, so that's a good way to go. Also looking at a uh, category page for cooking once again is uh, this is a, a long scrolling page, but they uh, have split it into an ATF BTF format. So above the fold, below the fold format, which is really good um, for Google to crawl. It also uh, uh, inc uh, reduces the bounce back rate of your customers when they land on that page. They have a little bit of reading to do. Uh, they can see what that page is about. The top piece of co copy we tr try to recommend that you keep that very customer centric, that's very marketing friendly copy. Uh, the bottom of the the fold, uh, 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 the the BTF copy, we add a, a lot more SEO juice to. Your links might be there. Uh, that's that's really at the bottom of the page because we want Google to get through that whole page, index that page, and um, that that SEO rich copy not to interrupt that buying process. 